the season. Let's talk about some Christmas decor. Hello, my name is Celia. If you have been here before, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. I wanted to take today to talk about some Christmas traditions, Christmas decor, all things holiday season inspired because it's that time of year. We're all ready to dust off our Christmas ornaments, put up our tree, buy a tree, whatever it is that you do, but it's time to get in the spirit of the holidays. So in thinking about what I wanna do in my home for Christmas and the traditions that I wanna create with my family that I am building with Sean and Cash, I have to start by thinking about the Christmas traditions of my childhood. My mom always had an artificial tree. We never had a real tree and that was a thing that always stuck with me. We always had an artificial tree. Our decorations were exactly the same every year. We had little toy ornaments. We had some snowflake ornaments. We did a couple of the like old school um, silk wrapped balls. <laughs> comment down below if you guys had any of those silk wrap balls and we always did lots of tinsel i imagine that this is something because maybe when my mom was younger or back in the day a vintage christmas was always very tinsel heavy that's what i most remember about our trees they were very very tinsel heavy but we had a very a, a very um set in stone look to our tree because my mother bought her decorations and she wasn't changing anything up it was a very very traditional style tree what my mom also used to do was hang a stocking i it was always like this fun thing where you wake up in the morning santa has come we did santa santa has come you open up all your presents but when those are all done and you're like the high has worn off of like oh, i'm opening all presents there was always a stocking full of like more little small little treats and gifts stocking stuffers you know so having those stocking stuffers always really made me so happy it was like i knew what was under the tree was under the tree but when that was all done i still got my stocking i still got whatever is left in the stocking to go fast forward i lived my life as a single person in new york city Finally met Sean, got pregnant, and I wanted to do a holiday test run. Now there is a whole video of what we did the year, the Christmas I was pregnant. We bought a real tree because I was determined to have a real tree. We actually handmade most of our ornaments because we didn't have the storage um, and I didn't want to commit to ornaments back then. So we made our own ornaments and ended up tossing those when the season was over. So that was like a trial run. What, what kind of Christmas person do I want to be? What do I want my Christmas decor to feel like? So what we didn't do that year was have any stockings. The year we did our trial run, I just really wasn't ready to commit. We were just kind of testing the waters. That apartment that we were in didn't have a mantle. It didn't have a fireplace. Um, so it was kind of okay that we skipped it. But now the cash is here. We're getting more into like he is going to start understanding, you know, what's going on. So I kind of want to get more into developing that Christmas style. A company reached out to me called Personal Creations and said, hey, we have a ton of personalized stocking options. How about you pick one? I checked it out and I said, oh, you know what? These are actually kind of nice. Pick the style and I wanted to share them with you guys. So these are the stockings that I got. They are called the festive name stockings and I kind of love them. When we did our trial run, we did a very neutral, kind of natural burlap um, cream paper when we made our stockings. So I wanted to keep that neutral vibe going just because again, you know, we're still on the fence. Celia's still figuring it out. Um, so I really, really love these. They have the red. I do know that I want my Christmas style to include lots of classic red. So the back of these are like a full velvet red. And they are, I love, 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 love. That's Cash. We've got Sean. And then we've got Celia. <laughs> So I really, really love these stockings. Again, they are from Personal Creations. It was super, super easy to personalize. And right now they're offering you guys 40% off 
any of your purchases on the personal creations website they have christmas ornaments christmas stockings christmas skirts and all types of other things that you can personalize to your family so i will have a link down in the description and you can like i said get 40 percent off all of your purchases if you use the code celia40 at checkout we have our stocking selected and the next big christmas element is a tree now i would really 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 like to have a real tree but the lease in our current apartment says that we can't have real trees because they're a fire hazard which i mean sure but like keep it water you know what i'm saying everybody in new york does real trees and we're stacked on top of each other like ants neither here nor there that's not where we are we're here can't have a real tree have to get an artificial tree Here's the thing though, artificial trees, just like real trees, come in a wide variety of styles and sizes. They make them just like to mimic real trees, fir, spruce, I don't know, They. I don't even know all the types of trees. When we bought our real tree, we just said that one. <laughs> I didn't know what they were. So now I have to look at these trees because it's kind of an investment. If I buy a faux artificial Christmas tree, then this is the tree that we're going to use for at least a couple of years. So I've got to dive in and find out what type of tree do I want. So having grown up with a very traditional style Christmas tree, I feel like that's something that I want to go with, but I'm not sure. So in order to find out what I want, we have to find inspiration. Where do we go for inspiration? We go to Pinterest. So I have some large ornaments. I'm gonna pull out all of that I have so that we can all be on the same page, but let's look at our pictures. I really want that big red bulb. I really like the idea of everything being red, but tree types mean you can have trees that are a little bit more sparse, where you can see the ornaments hanging in between them, or you can have this much fuller look where the ornaments kind of sit on the tree. Does that make sense? On versus in. So I want to have big red ornaments. I also think that I want a little white in there. I think I want a little bit of metallics, both gold and silver, but really that doesn't say like, do I want garland? Do I want to drape something around the tree? Do I want tinsel? These are the things that I am unsure about. In this image, I really love how the ornaments are big statement ornaments. Now they are a little bit more gold and it kind of has this like red, like cranberry kind of garland around it that looks a little natural. I really like the vibe of this tree. It feels kind of winter wonderlandy, sparkly, you know? I also really love this image because you get just a little bit of tree and a little bit of mantle. In our living room, which is really the room I want to focus our decor on, I want to put something up on the mantle. I want the green and the red and the metallic to travel up onto the mantle as well. Um, so I really love this tree. It again has that very winter wonderlandy appearance where the main focal color is red. That tree has a much bushier look where the ornaments are kind of sitting on it, on it and not in it. Um, so this is kind of where I am. Like, this is kind of where the like, do I want that sparse look? Do I want that full look? You know, these are like, this is the decision when I'm gonna be looking for a tree. I also really love this one because it brings back that tinsel vibe from my childhood. Now, the thing that I remember about the tinsel in our artificial tree is that we never got all of the tinsel out of the tree. So like from year to year, it always had tinsel in it. And I'm a little leery because I don't know, you know, maybe I want tinsel this year. Maybe I don't want tinsel next year. So I'm a little leery of doing this like tinsel vibe with an artificial tree, but I really, really love the way this looks. Again, it has a very twinkly winter wonderland, warm vibe. It doesn't really have a lot of red in it, but I would definitely add some red bulbs to this tree. I also really like when trees kind of have that very twinkly, that twinkly winter wonderland look is something I love, whether it's achieved with real candles, faux candles, um, or just the way the lights are hitting your ornaments. I just love that warm glow of a Christmas tree. So that's mostly what I'm after. After doing a little bit of this research, I think I am leaning towards more of a bushier, fuller tree. So I just need to keep that in mind and like figure out which trees are those. If any of you guys have artificial trees, bushy, sparse, whatever thoughts, feelings, please let me know down in the comments because I'm finding this probably way more stressful than it should be, but 
it's like if you invest in a tree, it's your tree, at least for a little bit. So I briefly mentioned the fireplace. So just to remind you guys of what's happening in our apartment, we have this huge 10 foot long fireplace. Now in the middle of it, it kind of has become baby toy parking, which don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I do know that I want to bring some of that greenery, probably in some type of garland, along with some ribbon to really tie in that like green, warm, cozy vibe. So that's what I'm thinking. Not totally sure, but let's go ahead and I'm going to pull out everything that I have so far so we can, you know, let's see so I can see so you can see and we can come up with the plan. Okay, here I've pulled everything. Well, at least a representation of everything that I already have out. I have made some very good Goodwill finds in candlesticks and ornaments options. Um, but what I'm realizing as I see it is maybe I kind of have already decided what this tree is going to look like. Um, I've got lots of red. As you can see, that red and gold um, stuff that I found at the Goodwill. I found these big balls at Hobby Lobby. Problematic, I learned afterwards, but I might need a couple more of these balls. <laughs> but I've got that red that I want. I've got shine because I've also got shiny options. Other ones that I found at the Goodwill and even that like sparkly red again at the Goodwill. And I have been looking for this stuff at the Goodwill like since July. Because Christmas is happening every year. We know what's coming. But when everybody else is looking for those ornaments, you're not going to find them. You have to start looking early. So I've got my red and I've got my gold. And then these are ornaments that we have had in our shop that um, will be in stock soon. So if you are interested in any of these very kind of natural um woven ornaments they will be available but i'd like to choose the options that have that metallic built in so i have both gold and silver options and i have a couple of each um these are ones that i picked up last year this year they're really meant for crafts you know if you wanted to decorate an ornament yourself or like do something inside of the clear but i like them just as they are um, and they're inexpensive then so this this is kind of what's happening for my tree then over here i kind of have my collection of stuff for the mantle these little houses this was an investment i made the year that sean and i had our first art of uh, our first real tree i did pick these up they were in the dollar section at target and i liked them because again of that like natural color tone um, and then again with my Goodwill finds y'all, I've got a number of different brass candlesticks. These I even found with the little snowflake. I'm thinking I'm going to rub and buff the snowflake to be gold or rub and buff the candlestick and leave the snowflake silver just to bring in a little bit more warmth. Um, I also found a set um, I shared this on Instagram. I found a set of really, really nice uh, stocking holders. The only issue, they were $3 each and there are four of them, Santa and four reindeer. Um, my only wish is that I truly wish that these were gold. So I'm almost sure that I'm going to rub and buff the entirety of these. Maybe leave Santa silver and do the reindeer and gold. Haven't decided yet, but these definitely need some gold on them but how cute are they gonna be imagine greenery with the reindeer with some gold stuck in there amongst the greenery with some twinkle lights some brass candlesticks with candles burning and then obviously i picked these because they went right along with what i was thinking in that kind of natural with our pop of red i just yeah but I will say this, I would like to add some childhood whimsy to this. This is a very adult styled take on Christmas, right? I recognize that. It's red and, and metallics and kind of um, a neutral color tone, but I want some, you know, that like 
oh, my kid made this at school, um, or we picked this up, you know, on a family vacation, uh, like that kind of thing. I want to add some whimsy and personalization, obviously, to our Christmas decorations. I have a couple pieces um, in mind. Maybe they'll work out, but I think all of this will grow and change as Cash's grows older and changes as well. But I think I have a really good foundation of what's going on here. Um, and I think I want to go with a, a bushier tree, but all of it is a little bit up in the air. But we will, of course, do a video when we get to that section. I mean, when we get to that section. <laughs> we will, of course, do a video when we get to that point because I really, really, really want to capture Cash being able to put some decorations on the tree and see if he'll get excited about it, you know? Um, so please stay tuned. We will definitely share a part two when we actually get a tree and actually decorate said tree. Um, and I want to do some maybe quick and easy DIYs that maybe can be done with older children too. So we are definitely going to be doing a part two of this video where we actually pick a Christmas tree, decorate the tree. I want to get some insanely cute footage of Cash being able to decorate his tree. <laughs> So please be sure to hit the subscribe button, put that bell notification on so you don't miss that. I'm searching for family traditions. I have my own, but please let me know down in the comments if there's anything that really made you smile as a child that you think would be fun to pass on. Just let's share our memories. Let me know if this video was fun, helpful. Are you looking forward to the next video? I am. I'm really looking forward to decorating for Christmas. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.